Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einer weiteren Folge von GTA 5. Mein Name ist Dr. Skill. Schön, dass du wieder eingeschaltet hast. In dieser Folge versuchen wir Lamar zu retten. Ah, mal schauen, ob wir uns Michael und Trevor helfen werden. Wir werden sehen, wir werden sehen. Von daher gucken wir einfach mal, was rumkommt. So, optimal. So. Eine gute dreieinhalb Kilometer dahin. So, jetzt wird es ein bisschen Offroad gleich werden wahrscheinlich. Da war hier alles noch geteert. Ups. Ah, ein bisschen was abbekommen. Vielleicht hier geht irgendwann so ein Feldweg los, oder? Habe ich das falsch im Kopf? Also nicht mehr so... Ah, ab der Brücke glaube ich war es, ne? Ja, genau, das meinte ich hier mit Offroad. Gut. So. Schauen wir mal, dass wir hier vorankommen. Hier wieder hoch. Zwei Kilometer noch. Auf der Folge knapp. Ah, gleich fliegt er so runter weg. Wieso hängt denn die schon? Ja, schleift ein bisschen am Boden, wird wahrscheinlich gleich wegfliegen. Spätestens beim nächsten kleinen Rammer. Ah, sieht noch ein bisschen stabil aus, aber ich glaube, der Augenschein trügt tatsächlich. So, so schauen wir mal. Da unten geht's los. Ist auch ein verrückter Weg hier. Ich würde tatsächlich die Abkürzung nehmen wollen. Ah. Was passiert bei Abkürzen? Hey, hey, hey. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. This place is crawling with ballers, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah, tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic. Classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. He runs away hm. from the fight, I run towards it. Wie auf Angriffsposition. Haben wir da eine bestimmte? Okay, kann ich mir die vielleicht aus dem... Ich würde gerne hier eigentlich hochlaufen, ne? Wenn ich könnte. Jetzt so. Wie gesagt, einer geht so frontal ran, Trevor kommt von da hinten so und dann nehmen wir die Würde in die Mangel. Aber das dürfte uns ganz gut klappen. Oh, wir haben nicht mehr so viel Schuss auf dem hier. Ah, müssen wir nochmal irgendwann mit Incident Ammunition fahren. Sieht so semi-gut aus. Give us a signal when you're ready, Frank. Let's go 
trying to do? I'll take out whoever I can. Here I come, assholes! Hey, hey! Some rubble! Auch nur über die Leichen für die Munition, die wir hier haben, im Idealfall. nachladen wie ärgerlich immer in solchen momenten muss man nachladen aber auch wirklich immer Shit. Ach, hier oben ist noch einer der letzte muss bei denen sein Shit. Ah, nachladen ist immer ärgerlich in solchen momenten wird da links irgendwo Bist du hier? Hey, I see Lamar. Ah ja. Hey Lamar, it's me. We getting out of here, dog. Oh, fancy seeing you here, motherfucker. Yeah, huge coincidence, huh? Come on, man. Come on, guys, they're here in force. You gotta move. Ah. Auf geht's zum Ausgang. Gut. Gott, wir haben noch. Letztes Magazin. Das sich zeigt. Gut, wir haben wieder ein bisschen Munition. Fällt mir. Ich dachte, da gibt es keine Sau da. Ah. Alright. Und wieder 9 Kilometer zurück. Gut. Ah, ich glaube, wir haben schon eins von den schnellen Autos erwischt. Tony? Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga. A realist. 
Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lift, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the Miz ain't Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for their... Yeah, damn! What the fuck? Damn! What the express on. purpose of clapping your ass? Man, you show... Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga, whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you're talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools... Cold, Oops. When these fools rolling together. Jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapped. I can make sure I ain't clapped. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them dudes. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga Stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stretch sends you out there where they do... Hmm. Where they do the Kush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. <laughs> nigga, so I guess... I guess what we learned is... Nigga don't think it ain't no fun if he had fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, hey, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. Payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. 
Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. What are you supposed to, my nigga? I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turnout for your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Hey, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in a turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture. Oh, me? Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey! Oh, flossing ass, nigga. Oh, man, oh, man. Good. 50 Dollar haben wir ihm gegeben. Alright, und mit Blick auf die Uhr bedanke ich mich wieder recht herzlich bei euch fürs Zuschauen dieser Folge. Schaut auch gerne morgen wieder ein. Bis dahin. Ciao, ciao.